What's up, Android lovers? This is Clayton Youngberg with AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today I've got an unboxing and quick overview of the LG Intuition for Verizon Wireless. Now we all know that Verizon Wireless is not huge in the phablet game. Uh, they did not get the Note 1. Uh, they did not get the HTC rumored phablet that uh, we were kind of hoping for, but they did get the LG Intuition. And uh, considering I needed a new daily driver because I broke my Galaxy Nexus, I decided I'd pick one up. So let's go ahead and unbox it, go over a few of the specs. I did purchase this today. Uh, it has been out for maybe a week at this time of filming. And uh, I am a Verizon Wireless customer, so I decided I would get a phablet and try it out because I have been dying for the awesome screen size. Anyways, I did have an enjoyable time at the Verizon uh, for once. I did not get any of the uh, usual crap I would get. A nice young lady helped me out uh, with activating this phone and uh, kind of telling me some of the features and uh, some of the cool uh, hot scoop for Verizon. Now anyways, the LG Intuition is a five inch device. It's really, really big as you can see right here in my hand. Uh, it just looks massive. We do have our Galaxy S3 right here and it's almost, uh, it's nearly dwarfing the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S3 does have the 4.8 inch display. Now anyways, other cool specs, this does have a dual core processor, it's a Snapdragon S3 variety, clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, we've got uh, one gigabyte of RAM, we have 32 gigabytes of internal storage. We'll get into some of the software here in a minute after we see what else is in the box. See so you have a nice little uh, tassel here we can pull to reveal the rest of the contents. We have our starting manual here, we do have some LG NFC tags because this phone does have an NFC chip, and with Android 4.0.4, uh, we can definitely utilize the nice features of NFC. Anyways, we have another compartment here. Here's where we find our stylus. Now, um, this stylus is a little less intuitive than the S Pen with the Galaxy Note 2, of course. Uh, in fact, we don't even have a place on the phone to keep the stylus. Uh, so that's going to be a uh, bothersome feature for some. But, uh, you know, you can buy other styluses in the store, uh, at any cell phone store, really, to use with this device. It's not really anything special about this stylus compared to uh, aftermarket stylus you can use with any device. So, um, but we do have some cool intuitive features that I will get into. Means we'll set the stylus and the phone aside. See what else we have. We do have our travel adapter, which is our AC adapter and our USB data cable. This does not come with headphones apparently, but uh, that's not a huge bummer for me because I have so many pairs, it's ridiculous. Now anyways, this does have a screen resolution of uh, six, no, excuse me, of 768 by uh, 1024 pixels, so it's got a pretty nice resolution. We've got a uh, 256 PPI, so the pixel density is pretty nice too. Kind of get in here and we can uh, check this out. Anyways, it's running Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich. Hopefully we do have the Jelly Bean upgrade on the way. This is also running the Optimus UI, which uh, we saw on the LG Optimus 4X HD. Um, the LG Optimus G uh, also will have the Optimus UI. See, we've got a 2080 milliamp battery, uh, non-removable, unfortunately. So we've got a very thin profile. It's really nice. Um, I like the display. This phone does have a lot of haters, but, um, you know, that's because we've got a lot of Samsung fanboys. But here at Android Authority, we aren't specific to any sort of brand. We just love Android. And if you're getting anything besides the iPhone 5, we commend you for it. Now, as you can see, we do have a lot of preloaded apps. We've got a lot of cool features. Go ahead and look at some of the cool um, physical features of this phone. As you can see right here on top, we do have our little USB, um, our micro USB slot. We can in fact cover that up to protect any dust and debris from getting there. This is our power button. It has a nice illumination effect as you can see. Really classy. This is a well-built phone. We've got metal around the sides on the bottom. We do have a plastic back here with some nice LG branding and of course the 4G LTE from Verizon. Our NFC chips located right down here. Got some speakers here. 8 megapixel camera in the rear. Let's see what we have in our front. We've got 1.3 megapixel uh, front facing camera. Anyways, this is our intuitive button for the uh, quick memo. Of course, when we press this button, we capture a screenshot, um, and it looks like I haven't used it yet, so we're going to have to uh, go through some initial steps, which I will do later. Uh, anyways, this does have the dedicated capacitive buttons for the back, home, recent apps, of course, and then, of course, our menu button. Um, I have not played with this phone at all. I actually put it back in the box right after I activated it, 
so I could give you guys a nice unboxing video. Of course, we're going to have uh, comparisons, software, hardware, smackdown be uh, between this and the Galaxy S3. Uh, we're going to have a full review for the LG Intuition as well. But uh, just some other cool things about this. We are running on the uh, 4G LTE network from Verizon. I don't have that in my area right now. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go into some of the apps. As you can see here, it's giving me my initial instructions. We have a row of five apps, plenty of space. You can scroll through. We also have our folder for downloads and widgets. Now, I don't particularly hate the LG uh, Optimus UI, but I am definitely, definitely waiting for this to get a root method. I'll probably put some CM10 on here, and then we'll actually see some uh, comparison between this and the Note 2. Now the S3 processor is a little outdated. It's not as powerful as the uh, Snapdragon S4 that we're seeing, and especially not the Snapdragon S4 Pro that's coming in variants of phones to the US and internationally now, but it is very, very powerful, 1.5 gigahertz. As you can see, it is not uh, lagging at all. Go ahead and try out our stylus here. Very responsive. I'm going to be happy with this phone, and of course, if I'm not, I'm going to be getting something else. Uh, you guys know me, and you know us at Android Authority. We got to cover all of the great phones. Anyways, this is the Quick Memo app. You can simply tap right there. Uh, we can click to show not uh, not show this screen again, and then I can show you. It has taken a screenshot. We can write on it, um, make notes and stuff. We can save it and also share it. And of course, like I said, we'll get a full review of all the software and hardware about this phone. But anyways guys, that was a quick unboxing and quick demo of some of the software and hardware features in the LG Intuition for Verizon Wireless, uh, Verizon's first phablet phone, uh, first phone over five inches in screen size, and uh, I think this is going to be a promising phone. It does have a lot of haters, as I said, and a lot of people um, are going to pick sides between this and the Samsung, but we got to remember, we're all Android fans here, um, you know, that's not something we should be disputing but it is everyone's opinion. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We've got plenty more where this came from. And as always, we greatly appreciate your dedication to AndroidAuthority.com and our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Google+, Twitter. And then, of course, check out our website for the hottest news regarding Android, the best reviews anywhere, and uh, just some all-around great people that love Android. Thanks a lot, guys.